for you? Like, do you add issues? Do you try to do everything absolutely the same to kind of keep it there, or do you change things up, or how do you? Uh, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah, if I could repeat that. Um, but I'm not gonna Daniel Murphy, uh, my swing or anything. Um, just try to keep it simple. I've been giving y'all the same boring answers for the same amount of years. So just try to barrel the ball, put a good swing on it. Sorry. <laughs> what were you most proud of from the year last year? Uh, I don't know. I think the fact that I made less errors than I have been. Um, uh, in my previous years, I think I made seven, um, especially the, how I started off. I didn't start off too hot. I think I made like three errors in the first month, maybe. Um, uh, but then I kind of just got a hold of it and figured it out and um, kind of co not coasted, but grinded it through the rest of the season. Well, since you've been a Gold Glove finalist the last couple of years, um, yeah. you're not on kind of three tickets. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, you always want to win an accolade, uh, especially if it's uh, pertaining to defense, because defense definitely gets overlooked these days with uh, everyone hitting homers and whatnot and striking out. Uh, but I always tell y'all, the personal accolades will come uh, when we win more, so uh, if we win, they'll probably come down the road. What was your reaction when you heard that Dusty wasn't coming back? Uh, I don't know. I guess not too surprised, um, just given the fact I've only been here for five, six seasons, and was this my third, fourth manager? Um, so... Um, I don't know any different. I haven't like had the first beginning of my career and had the same manager, so it's kind of like it's the same for me. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know any different. What have you kind of learned? What have all you guys learned about how to deal with when there's a new coach and staff? Not even just a manager, but uh, you know, new guys that are, are instructing guys in spring training. There's a lot to learn. Definitely. Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, I'm definitely trying to learn their names. It's <laughs> the biggest, <laughs> the biggest part for me, and uh, you know. I've actually been trying to like stay on top of it this year. Like, actually got on MLB.com and like, all right, who is my coaching staff? Um, yeah, so not that I, do, I don't get to get y'all to other websites, but um, uh, I think it's just trying to learn their names and trying to learn like their techniques and how they want to relate to you, um, and just trying to just like get a feel for them. You've kind of settled into a stretch here where you played a lot of games over mm -hmm. the last few years. What have you learned about? the key to kind of being able to do that year after year? Oh, man. Uh, staying on top of my foam rolling uh, and stick to a routine. And I think that's the base key. And uh, knowing that it's a marathon and not a you know a race or a sprint, I think. Um, so you got to take it easy. You kind of almost got to coast throughout the whole thing. You can't just, like, sprint right out the gates and, like, you know, go balls at the wall or whatever. So. Losing a few years in a row, did this one hurt more than the year before? Did you feel like you were closer than you were? Years ago, or do you no. feel like the teams make a little bit of progress each year? I think, yeah, definitely. I think Zim said it the best uh, last year, maybe. Um, he said people easily forget that this organization was losing 100 games not too long ago. Uh, but the fact that we've been a constant presence in the postseason as of late, um, I think that's a huge step for us as an organization. And um, I, nobody talks about how other organizations that haven't been to the postseason the last couple of years, but um, obviously we're trying to stay there. And so we're the big talk now. Um, but I like it. So it puts a little more pressure on us, and that's why we play the game. Do you know anything about Dave Martinez? Have you talked to him, met, met him before? Okay. <laughs> 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 well, now you get a chance, right? Yeah, so I'll get to know him in spring. Is that that scared? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, you had that scared look on your face. Oh, no, like I was, that was like a don't go down that road because <laughs> I don't know any answers. Yeah. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Um, that's up for them. That's why I hired them. <laughs> I dropped out of school. Um, <laughs> so uh, that's why I got them, though. Uh, I could focus on just playing, and they'll work out all the kinks. And so whatever happens, happens. Awesome. <laughs> Is that something you think you want to be here long term as you sort of look forward and think about it? Yeah, for sure. Um, I've grown comfortable with you guys. Um, <laughs> kind of. But uh, for sure, if, uh, why not stay with one organization? Um, and especially all the heat that the NBA players are getting as of late, trying to leave, like, no, I'm scared to leave. <laughs> but no, for sure. Um, it's a great organization. It's great to uh, see how we've changed over the years. So it'll be good to stay. Being from Houston and seeing them celebrate and things like that, yeah. like, like re-energize you to like, that's what I want to, is to have a celebration <laughs> in D.C. like that. Well, I still didn't watch any of it. So, okay. Okay. Um, But, yeah, it was awesome just to see the city um, just like rally around the team because uh, they definitely needed it. Um, so, I mean, it's a good hometown team, and that was my team growing up. So it's good to actually see them win something because <laughs> the Texans ain't doing nothing.
Got my rod twirl. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it.